my name is Camila Dorico, and I'm the uh, artist and creative director of uh, Dorico Studios Limited. And, and I'm Adapia Dorico, and I'm the managing director of Dorico Studios Limited, and we are sisters. sisters. <laughs> what Dorico Studios Limited does is we created this company to promote and uh, Manuf manufacture products based on Camila's artwork um, as one of the top pop surrealism artists and uh, character creators and comic book artists uh, we just create a program that promotes her art using product uh, using licensing and various other methods uh, that we just we put together programs through the company I was fascinated by the Japanese culture and the way that they told a story and the way that they created characters and paint that not necessarily painted but just the styling and uh, and I, I fell in love with it and I realized that it was very different from the North American styles that I was used to I grew up with all we knew was that Camila loved the idea of product and having her oh, yeah. art on a lot of products um, and that connection that it makes with fans so it was really easy also to do that because there's a misplaced um, stigma or belief that if your art is on merchandise then you've sold out or it's not fine yeah. art and we've worked really hard mm -hmm. to remove that um, perception from people because actually that's the beauty of her art it's mm. that it can be shared that it is accessible to as many people as possible and yeah. the, a testament to that is the tens of thousands of fans that you have yeah, <laughs> yeah. well and I mean it's also I I love like if I can get a pillow with my art on it oh my god I'm excited about it we've done a lot with our own investing and reinvesting mm. our money um, to make things happen but at a certain point to become bigger even to reach a larger audience we need uh, more money that uh, doesn't always come from from what we do so the business plan was really essential also to for us to be able to go and, and look for funding whether lending from banks or, or government programs so far we've applied for the leadership grant and we also applied for some funding at the bank Camila went in with the business oh, yeah. plan and uh, yeah and and uh, that was a that was a great meeting because yeah. it was uh, we got the, the funding yeah. and um, it turns out that uh, they were big fans of my art <laughs> yeah. as well so that was also a yeah. fantastic thing but um, it was a, it was a fanta it was a great business plan and you know it was very well written you know, I would encourage every artist that if they want to do um, more brand building and to develop more merchandise that they need this um, because people take you much more seriously when you have a business plan. I think it was worth the cost um, because it's time and concentration that I can't always find. It's something that if I were to try and do the same thing myself could potentially take me months. And it's essential because I'm dealing with uh, licensing agencies and retailers and really you know big let's say business people and they expect you to to speak on their terms and to really know what you want and that business plan gives us it gives us the numbers it gives us the information that they're looking for mm -hmm. I can just show them this and this is who we are and this is why um, Camila and her brands are what you want to have in your store um, we're really going for it we are we're we are going for helmet girls as a graphic novel and entertainment property and lifestyle brand and um, it's all really really coming together now so that'll be something that'll be out there in the very near future I hope that you know we can still be doing this like 20 yeah. years from now I think the best thing about owning your own business and for us it's special because we're sisters and mm. so we're doing this together but the best thing is that um, your vision is what you're going for so all of your blood sweat and tears is for something that belongs to you mm -hmm.